All right, guys, on this one, this lady claims that her condenser was making a racket. Don't you just love it when I put these by the condensers? So I killed the power, and we're going to go in and turn it on. That way I can be there when it powers up. Uh, he called me. Yeah. And uh, I'll t I'll I'll figure it out for you. <laughs> yeah. mm. That lady right there called the fire department department on me one time. Because her system had frozen up after I left. And it caused a, um, like a cold vapor cloud to fill her apartment and she thought it was smoke. Contactors pulled in. Kissed at me. That clicking you hear right there. That's that compressor operating at very low suction pressure. I call it going into a vacuum. It may not be in a vacuum, but it's close. Head pressure is not that abnormal if you have a suction that low. Let's see if I can get this on here. about the maintenance man not wanting to mess with it truth is he didn't want to mess with her all right I'm down to 25 
PSI on my suction and y'all can hear this let's see what kind of metering device we have Looks like a piston. Could the thing just be low on freon? Mm. I hear all that refrigerant moving in there. Yeah, we got a piston. Let's uh, that Schrader right there might be the only problem she has. Let's try to um, charge it. I'll go get my gauges or I can I can use this. Let's charge it and see if foam. Um, what's his in here? All right, I'm gonna go get my gauges. We'll replace that Schrader and see if we can't charge this up. All right, my. Thermostat just satisfied before I can get back here and charge anything. So we're going to turn it on in. Turn it on in cool and try this all over again all right we're going to have a time delay i guess we there's a test pin right there waiting on the thermostat I guess while I'm waiting I can change this Schrader alright I just heard it That almost never gets my <clears throat> my core out. Alright, so 
consumption is at 73 psi and it's almost 80 degrees in there that gives me confirmation that it, it is low on refrigerant measured my tank before I brought it out here it was at 22 pounds you know I could use a, a third one of these for these heat pumps when I'm swapping them back and forth Might make it a little confusing. Let's just see what our numbers are looking like now. Well, it wasn't that low. That right there tells me, well, it's like 78 degrees in there, so keep an eye on that. Okay, it. Yes, it was low on refrigerant, but I get it close to normal, like running in cool just now. And watch what happens. We gotta let it run long enough so you can see it. Just watch these numbers. Right now, look at that temperature. It is 71 degrees out here. That vapor temperature and the suction pressure should not be below freezing. All right, we're going to fast forward through this until we get to the part that I was telling you about. my pressure had gone up to 120 and as you see this is starting to go down head pressure is climbing can you hear that compressor there is no reason why that compressor should be doing that Tells me either my piston or my liquid line valve is clogged. I 
I got another one across town that's doing the exact same thing. It is not icing at the, I said liquid line valve, my liquid line dryer. It's not icing at the dryer. It's just icing at the piston. So we have a restriction. It's a, it's a piston so it'll be easy to... Once I take all this apart, pull it apart and clean it and um, replace the dryer and just put it back together. I'm, one last thing, I'm going to do an acid test on this because that piston is right behind the liquid line dryer and I'm afraid it is, the dryer is starting to come apart. Alright, we're just going to see if we have acid in the system I'm not seeing any change in color we're good hmm. so it's just it's just clogged I measured my tank and I only put in about eight ounces of refrigerant and it made that drastic of a change All right. Hmm. Yeah, I got another one across town. Did the exact same thing. And I had... I was feeling sick so I left and it was an old woman and I didn't want to be there if I was feeling sick so I told her I would come back and um but it was doing the exact same thing forgive me the phone's been ringing today I might put my dryer out here and take that dryer away from in there and just clean that thing out and blow it out good and I'm trying to figure out because the, the pistons upside down I'm hoping I can see whatever's in it if it's just like an oxidation buildup or something I don't know kind of odd for a piston to just clog like that well guys, I hope you enjoyed that little video. I'm sure to bring y'all along when I go back. If you like these videos, how about like and subscribe? It really does help out. That way you won't miss out on the next one. I'll catch y'all tomorrow.